Muppets come and go all the time. You'll have a prominent character who appeared for several decades, suddenly fizzle out of existence and not appear again for a good 20 years. You'll have a prominent character be retired after their puppeteer leaves and not get recast for a long time and sort of fade away into the background. It's very uncommon for a Muppet to stop making appearances for story reasons, and one of very few cases of this happening that I can think of is with Denise, Kermit's new girlfriend created for ABC's The Muppets. Hello everybody and welcome back to Muppet Deep Dive, I'm your host Ty, and today we're going to be talking about the history of Denise. ABC's The Muppets is a controversial piece of Muppet media. Hot off the trails of their two recent movies, the next Muppet Show was greenlit, and it ended up being a workplace comedy with a bit of a more mature edge airing on ABC, where we see the Muppets' personal lives. In order to pull off a show with more sitcom-esque plots, they needed character dynamics and character drama. So what did they do? Well, they said that Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy had broken up before the events of the show. And their breakup, the fact that they're no longer in a relationship, is a major point of contention throughout the entire series. I always thought this was pretty interesting, because Kermit and Piggy's relationship tends to fluctuate. Oftentimes it's very one-sided, it's just Piggy being obsessed with Kermit. Sometimes it's reciprocated, you know, it was always sort of a will-they-won't-they they sort of deal. So I always found it kind of strange for them to say that they'd broken up when there isn't really any piece of media saying that they're consistently dating. It's always sort of an on and off again thing. We all know that Miss Piggy can be quite the jealous type. Yeah! Oh, oh, now it's the frog's turn! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> so giving Kermit a new girlfriend and having the three interact is honestly a pretty genius idea and the way they handle it is pretty interesting. This new girlfriend, of course, is Denise. And we got our first look at her at San Diego Comic-Con of 2015, where they aired the presentation pilot for The Muppets. Vicky's bailing on us. Oh, she's just getting back at you for dating Denise. Hmm? Yeah, well, what can I say, Gonzo? I, I'm attracted to pigs. Since this was just a pilot, it was decided not to spend money and resources on making a full new Denise puppet just in case the show wasn't picked up. So they instead repurposed the Spamala Hamderson puppet, a character created for Muppets Tonight. With a new wig and um, significantly more clothing, Denise was born. Later on in the Comic-Con panel, the showrunners confirmed that a new Denise puppet was officially being built for the series which was first unveiled in an ad released on September 1st of 2015, starring Kermit and Ken Jeong. I mean, everybody from ABC is showing up to support the new Muppet Oh, anything show. for the... Mm. Man, you really have a type, huh? The new Denise puppet was designed by Paul Andrejo. The new Denise design doesn't really fit or conform to the standards of typical Muppet pig design. She's a bit paler than most of the other Muppet pigs and has her own unique eye shape, snout, and mouth. She's given a few different outfits to wear throughout the series and is also sometimes depicted wearing glasses, a detail that I always really appreciated because it just adds a bit more background and personality to the character. Denise is the head of marketing for the network that runs up late with Miss Piggy, the show that all the Muppets are working on in this show. Kermit and Denise met at a meeting and soon started dating. She runs marketing for the network, and, and, and we were at a cross-promotional synergy meeting, and we ended up uh, <laughs> cross-promoting. Yeah. Denise is performed by Julianne Buescher, and made her first official appearance in the series in its pilot episode, Pig Girls Don't Cry. This episode heavily adapted the presentation pilot, adding to it, and giving Denise a bit more to do. In her first scene, Denise walks right into the writer's room, and just from watching this scene, you could really get a full feel of what Denise's personality is. Hey, sweetie. I got you a little Italian. His name's Giuseppe. But I'm Chas. 
Yeah. Well, you know, honey, you don't have to make jokes every time you're in the writer's room. God knows these guys don't. Oh, boy, he did not like your dancing sketch. Throughout the series, Denise is shown to be a very caring, loving girlfriend and also a bit of a geek. Denise wouldn't appear again until the sixth episode of the show, The X Factor, which was all about her. In this episode, Denise's birthday is coming up, and Kermit has to buy a gift for her, but he's infamously bad at getting gifts for his friends. So he turns to, of all Muppets, Miss Piggy, to find the right gift for Denise. This episode allows us to learn a bit more about Denise from what Kermit tells Piggy. She comes from Georgia, hence her slight accent, uh, really likes football, ketchup, and eats cupcakes upside down. While Piggy and Denise don't really interact all that much throughout the series, we at least get a sense of how Piggy feels about her in this episode, seeing her as very immature and comparing her to her six-year-old niece. Denise's next appearance was in the next episode, Pigs in the Blackout. After Kermit passes out from stress, Denise comes to see him, as does Piggy, and there's a little bit of tension there. But all tension between the two really just comes from Piggy's side. Denise is depicted as way too sweet and caring to really be bothered by anything Piggy does. Kermit, Kermit, I came just as soon as I heard. Are you okay? I'm worried about you. Yeah. You know what you need? Some time at a spa to decompress. I absolutely agree. Oh, what do you know? Well, she was agreeing with you. I know, but I was already committed, so I powered through. In the next episode, Too Hot to Handler, Kermit and Denise are featured in the subplot when they go on a double date with Fozzie and his girlfriend. Denise appears again in the holiday special Single All The Way, and then the show went on hiatus. As I've discussed before, a lot of big changes were made during the hiatus of ABC's The Muppets. The showrunner stepped down and a new one came in, and a bunch of changes were made to try to make the series a bit more Muppety. One of the most apparent changes was how it treated Kermit and Piggy, but we'll get back to that in just a minute because before the show came back from hiatus, they released an acapella video of all the Muppets singing the original Muppet Show theme song, which featured Denise. And now, to season one, episode 11, Swine Song, which was ironically the swine song for Denise's character, as this would mark her final appearance in the series. Immediately, as soon as the show came back from hiatus, you could tell that there were some massive changes made to make all the characters a bit more positive and act a bit more like a family unit. Miss Piggy is an absolute jerk to everyone in the first half of the show, and then in the second half, she's a lot nicer, and they even had to come up with an in-universe reason for this. She went on vacation over a hiatus and is now a lot more positive. Kermit spent his hiatus with Denise, and is going to tell Miss Piggy that he wants to put up some boundaries between his personal life and his work life, wanting to take more time off of work so that he could spend more time with Denise. But, just when this is about to happen, up late with Miss Piggy gets in some hot water, and the whole crew has to work overtime in order to save their show from being cancelled. Working overtime causes all the Muppets to oversleep and for Kermit to miss a 5k run that Denise was running, which he was supposed to attend. Things look even worse, though, because he accidentally fell asleep on the same couch as Piggy. Okay, yesterday, you said that you were going to draw boundaries and spend more time with me, I know. but instead you blew me off and, and spent the night at work, curled up with your ex? Oh, yeah, but I, I am so sorry, you know, and, and, and all I can think of to say is, you sure look pretty after a 5K run. Oh, do you know how long a K is? Because I did not. Mm -hmm. The only thing that kept me going was pretending that the ground was your face. Mm -hmm. In order to save their show, Kermit and Piggy realize that the best way to gain viewers is for the two of them to sing a song together, which becomes the final straw for Denise. While we don't physically see Denise again after this episode, a few episodes later, we see that she's dropped Kermit's stuff from her house off at his office, and in the episode after that, Kermit reveals that she broke up with him. And that marks the end of Denise's character. That, to this day, is her final appearance. She has not returned for anything that the Muppets have done since, not even as a background character, and like I said at the beginning of the video, 
that's pretty rare, seeing a Muppet leave for story reasons and not come back. It makes sense for her not to come back, though, as she technically isn't a part of the Muppets group. She just worked for the network, you know? She's not a member of the Muppets. Denise is a very interesting case, in my opinion. I feel like they really could have done a lot more with her. There could have been some great tension between her and Miss Piggy, but she and Piggy barely interact throughout the show. In fact, Denise is barely in the show. While it is very sweet to see Kermit in a relationship with somebody who is outwardly very loving and caring towards him, I feel like Denise at some times is a bit too sweet and nice for her own good. It really sort of leaves her with very uninteresting writing opportunities. There's not much to be done with her, she's just too nice. I don't know if the plan was always to break up Kermit and Denise by the end of the first season and have him and Piggy get back together. I wouldn't be surprised if it was always the plan, but something about the fact that Denise is written right out of the show as soon as it came back from hiatus tells me that it wasn't originally supposed to happen this quickly. There is quite a bit of a character turn in Denise from season 1A to season 1B. It's pretty interesting. At the end of the day, I think Denise was a perfectly fine character who served the story, but again, a lot more could have been done with her, leaving her as sort of a forgettable footnote in the last 10 years of The Muppets. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.